Hi there, how's everyone doing? So today I'm going to be doing a review of the practice pad. So this is actually my own practice pad. This was a Christmas present. So is it brand new? No. We're six months on now, but there's a reason for that. So I had this off-world percussion Invader version 3 for Christmas and I wanted to give a good run before I did a review. In the past, I've had a couple of practice pads that I've thought have been the best things. And then two, three weeks in, or maybe a month in, I've started to have problems. Maybe they've started rattling, or maybe they've had a crack. Maybe they've broken completely. And so I wanted to make sure this one had a good run. Now we're six months in, and this practice pad looks pretty much still, and plays certainly, like brand new. So let's have a little chat about it. So what is so good about this practice pad? Well, when I'm looking for a marching practice pad, Obviously, I want it to feel like a marching snare drum. And this one has got a nice response to it. So this one's got a nice rebound. It feels a little bit like a marching snare drum. But when you're playing a high tension snare drum with a flam head on, what you tend to find is that um, it's got a certain amount of um, force. When you hit it, there's a certain amount of like, it's a bit like hitting a table sometimes. It's got an instant resistance. And this pad has got that. What they've done is it's a heavy pad. It's very heavy, right? It's made, same as all pads are these days, with wood with some kind of rubber on top. And that wood is, is, it, is pretty heavy. Now, the good thing about that is, is that that's what's given it the mass that means that it feels a bit like a marching snare drum or a lot like a marching snare drum when I, when I hit it. Now you can hear there's a bit of noise going off this snare drum. But it's quite a noisy, quite a noisy practice pad. And for me, that's exactly what I was after. I wanted sort of a quarter of the noise of a marching snare drum, but still enough that I could really hear all of the little nuances when I'm playing quiet and when I'm trying to get those little fine adjustments. So what's so nice about this is probably the laminate. So without the laminate on, we've got a pad which is kind of perfect for say marching tenor drummers or maybe even kit drummers. Still quite noisy, but nowhere near as noisy as with the laminate on. But with the laminate on, you're gonna hear, we instantly get that snare-like snap to it. Now, how is it held on? Is it held on with sticky? No, I don't have no idea. I wish someone could tell me the science behind it, actually. So it just seems to stick. It's got something to do with maybe air pressure or something like that, or the material it's made from, but it's not sticky. You just stick it on and you can take it on, put it back, uh, take it off, as you say, put it back on as you please. So I had this one from Southern Percussion um, in the UK and they've got them now. They've still got lots of them. So get in contact with them if you're after one. I think 72 pound I paid plus a bit of postage. So contact Martin at Southern Percussion and I know he's got these in stock. There's obviously other places you can get them from around the world. So have a look around. There's This is version three. I understand that version four also exists now. Version four, I think, has got the, um, the snare kind of mechanism inside it. So rather than it just being, we've got a bit of a ch -ch -ch sound going on. A bit of a snare sound. The other things I like about this pad, we've got a rim around the edge here. So rim shots are gonna be a possibility now. We've even got side stick rim shots, which is which is really, really good. Um, for me, I do a lot of freestyle drumming, which means we do a lot of stuff around the drum. Now, one of the things with that is I need space. If I'm doing it on a little pad the size of this part here, it's really difficult. So I wanted it to be the size of a full marching snare drum. Is this one? Not quite, right? I still haven't found someone who's, who's, who's managed to make a 14 inch snare drum. For me, that's gonna be the one that, that I'm, I'm gonna go towards because I want that full size. But this is pretty close that you can see it's bits in the middle of this drum. Um, and it's a pretty nice, quite, quite a nice size pad. Um, the other thing about the laminate relating to, to what I do, so with a, with a freestyle drummer, we do a lot of things. Different back sticking, things like that, even crazy stuff. And normally when you play on a pad, uh, a pad that's got rubber on top, often they're made of gum rubber, that's that yellow, yellow pads that you see, it, there's a certain amount of friction. And so when you try and do things like back sticking, especially this kind of thing, the stick kind of gets a bit stuck. And so what I like about this is you've got that, that movement across the drum. So it's quite a, um, a a smooth smooth surface on the top of there. Does it sound different on a off of the drum? Yeah, it does a little. So I'm going to show you that. So if I stick it in this stand here, you're going to hear that it's slightly higher pitched, and it's actually a little bit a little bit more rebound than on there. It's, 
you can even hear quite a big difference between the, from the edge um, to the middle. Um, as I said, you can get this in, in all different colors. You can choose what the color laminate you want. You can choose what color edge you, you want. Uh, this little sticker here, you can see I'm starting to come off actually where I've been picking at it, but that was on the drum. So all you've got to do is pull that off the drum, stick your laminate back down. Can you play on the bottom of this one? Yes, you can. Well, it's got this exact same surface on the bottom. I think, to be honest, the bottom is more so you can put it on a table and it doesn't move anywhere, but you can if you particularly want to turn it upside down and have a little play on the soft side. It is a little quieter. If I was trying to play in the evening, maybe I'd just play at, play at the edge here. But it's still fairly loud, isn't it? So all in all, for me at the moment, this is the best practice pad on the market. If there's a better one out there, send it me. I'll review it and I'll have a look, right? But for me at the moment, this is the best that I've played on. Is it a, a, a sort of a end of full stop, you know, the best one ever? No, I don't think it is. I still prefer one that was slightly bigger. I still think it's just a tiny, tiny bit different to the marching snare drum. It hasn't quite got the same um, feel and rebound, but it's pretty close and maybe Maybe the sound is still a little bit too much like I'm playing on a piece of wood. But I think practice pack companies out there, I think we're at the point where someone needs to just try a few other things, a bit of innovation out there. So forget wood, I don't know, let's try pumping one up, filling one with water, I don't know. There's gotta be some other things out there um, which will revolutionize pads. Um, at the moment, for me, this is the best of all the pads that are just made out of rubber and wood. Would I go and buy another one if I got this one stolen or lost tomorrow? Yeah, I probably would. So as I said, Get yourself online. If you're in the market for a, uh, a practice pad, if you live in the UK, I know some percussion have got them in stock. Maybe a local dealer will have. Um, they're quite hard to get here in Europe. Um, if you're in the States, I'm pretty sure you can pick one of these up just about everywhere. So if you've got any questions, let me know. If you've got a better practice pad out there, leave it in the comments. I mentioned in one of my other videos, um, the Skojo pad. I really like the Skojo pad. It's pretty much the same as this, minus the laminate. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy on that one as well. Um, I've got no affiliation with Offworld, so for me at the moment, I think that should, they're just making the best stuff. Um, Zymox, I know someone's gonna mention Zymox. If they could sort the company out, if that was bought out by someone like Yamaha who could actually be trusted to deliver the goods, then um, I think that Zymox might have, might have a, a, a fight. Um, but at the moment, they, 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 well, I won't say a thing, but go search Zymox on, uh, on YouTube and read some of the comments and uh, you can make your own mind up. So thanks for watching. Maybe go check out some of my other videos. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Off-world percussion, version three, Invader Practice Pad. Thanks for watching.